the time has come to deal with anime backgrounds once and for all. Konnichiwa, desu neta wa yarimashou. So the most common problem is when we somehow put an animated background that doesn't work as expected. Let me show you maybe? That's Hitamari app that is supposed to put some animated backgrounds on GNOME. It also has a library to pick wallpapers from and many more features, but when we're getting an overview the animation suddenly dies and we get a static image instead. While KD years are used to such bads, this experience is unacceptable for GNOME users and this app is as good as none. Akiramenai. One more try. That's Hitamari official page on GitHub, and if we scroll a little bit down we'll find a new project from the same developer called Hanabi. Unlikely to Hitamari, Hanabi is a shell extension which gives the developer some more permissions to the system. On README you'll find installation instructions and various workarounds. You can read those before you end up to an unpleasant situation. Now, I have the extension already ready and waiting. Just a last check on its settings. So we can select the video to play, and it can play audio too, and that's pretty much everything. Time to activate it, and what makes it great is that it will scale the video down and it will continue to play the animation on Shell Overview too. The only trouble is that we miss the rounded corners though. Another good is that Hanabi will work okay with extensions like Blur My Shell. Of course Blur My Shell will use the original wallpaper from settings to create the background, but perhaps that gives a better result. You'll find animated wallpapers in many places, but one thing you perhaps should do is to encode the videos to WebM format, otherwise they may not play. You can ask ChatGPT how to do that from CLI with FFmpeg, or you can use the Aviator application. To be honest though, it never worked for me, and the encoding was loading forever. Well, that's everything for now. We have animated background that actually work. And they work without glitches and with every shell component. And the craziest thing? They even work inside the application launcher workspaces picker. Of course, such things will use extra resources and energy, but if you're asking me, that should have been super optimized and a core shell feature.